Fortnite Season 2's first update is here. With it comes the Heavy Sniper, a new Clombo location, leaks about jetpacks, and so much more. Let's break down everything new. Over the last few weeks, it seemed like the Imagined Order had dominated the entire island. I mean, look at the map. They controlled 70% of it. But it looks like the Reign of Terror isn't going to last much longer. Today's update, the Daily Bugle has become a battleground. The first of many we should expect throughout the season. You'll immediately notice when you look on your mini-map that this place is now bright red and has a fighting icon inside of the volcano. Land here in-game and you'll see rifts appearing all over the POI. This is where the Sevens recruit spawn who will rush the area and fight the IO guard so it is up to us to help them. New message appears on screen telling us to help the seven reclaim the daily bugle and this begins stage one out of three stage one is pretty simple you just have to take out some io guards and try not to die in the process you should probably loot up before you join the fight rather than grabbing the first gun you see because it only gets more difficult from here if you begin to dominate them the io guards actually start to retreat inside of buildings and you can push them back cornering them Stage 2 summons some more IO guards for you to fight off, but the battle is easily won. Once you've successfully pushed them all back, that's when the final stage commences, and an unexpected boss battle shows up. Out of nowhere, Hunmaster Saber rifts in with a small army, you gotta fight him off before taking out Hunmaster Saber himself. He is now temporarily relocated to the Bugle, and you can no longer find him in the Command Cavern blimp. Luckily, once you eliminate him, Stage 3 ends, and the Seven has reclaimed the POI. They even dance on them! So as a reward for your troubles, Hunmaster Saber drops his usual Mythic Thermal Rifle, and the Seven ripped in a ton of loot for you to take. Although the Seven haven't actually reclaimed the Bugle yet, the recruits just gotta walk around patrolling for the rest of the match. Don't worry though, because once enough of us have reclaimed the Bugle, it'll become Seven theme, and the blimp above the POI will be destroyed. And this update is full of new stuff that you can experience right now. The community is going nuts because a fan favorite item has finally been vaulted. For the first time in Chapter 3, the Heavy Sniper has arrived. Now fans are super upset that it's not the one-shot beast it used to be, but it's still really powerful. You hear that it got nerfed and it sounds like they ruined it, but the Heavy Sniper is still a super strong weapon. You just can't instantly melt people like you used to. Now it does bonus damage to vehicles, so the IO's Titan tanks aren't going to be as strong anymore. But luckily, in zero builds mode, if you're terrified about the new Sniper, do not worry. Just place down a cow catcher and it protects you pretty well. The community is really excited about this one, that is for sure. So you can find the Heavy in regular chests and supply drops in blue, purple, and gold rarity. But if that's not your style, then don't worry, a new funding round has begun. Right now, you can use your gold to choose between the MK7 and the Combat Assault Rifle. Only one can be unvaulted, so it's up to the community to decide the winner. There have also been some changes to Tactical Sprint that nobody is talking about. The recharge on your stamina bar is now double speed, but there is a price. It now takes longer for the recharge to start, just to even things out. And there's another thing in this update that nobody has noticed. If you go to Log Jam Lumber Yard and head north, you will find one of Season 2's biggest secrets. There are now lumps of snow, and if you remember last season, and you'll know that this means Colombo is back at Fortnite. If you need further confirmation, when you drop here, it actually gives you 10,000 XP for free. And in the corner of the screen, it asks, are the Colombo hibernating or are they hiding? This is a huge discovery, and the community has been so focused on Clombo lately that it feels like Epic added this at the very last minute, just so we know he is okay. While today's update has been full of content, there is still so much more to uncover, and it reveals how exciting the next couple of weeks will be. Soon jetpacks will be coming to Fortnite, and they'll be found inside of blimps. There will be jetpack containers that drop a ton of them, and we should expect to see them added within the next few days. And the same goes for Titan tanks. Right now we're used to their blacked out military design, but once the seven begin overtaking POIs like the Daily Bugle, the Titan will become seven themed, and it's not the only exciting feature that will appear around this time. If you remember the supply drones from Season 9, you'll be excited to hear that they are returning soon and have a brand new 7 theme design. Who knows what kind of loot we'll find in these drones, but it's going to make Season 2 feel even more fresh. While all this is happening, our next Icon Series skin has been revealed. While we've recently had tons of athletes and musicians like Chloe Kim and Silk Sonic, this time around we are getting a content creator. Yes, Chica will be joining the Icon Series this season, and her skin looks incredible. I mean, she has a ton of edit styles too. But if we move over to the Fortnite Island itself, we have our first look at upcoming POIs. Strings in the files hint that we'll be getting new Imagined Order Towers, maybe even a Volcano POI. But when it comes to blimps, their destruction won't stop at the Daily Bugle. This is only just the beginning. Once we've taken the Bugle and destroyed that blimp, we'll have to move throughout the entire island until there aren't any blimps left. Enjoy your time with them while you can. Once the season's over, they may never return. And they're not the only great thing that Season 2 has given us. The new movement mechanics have been great and made Fortnite feel really high-paced, but Epic is working on bringing back an item that might make things even quicker. Soon, Chili Chug Splashes will We'll be entering the loop pool, and when we pair these with tactical sprint, we are never gonna feel slow again. To make things even more fresh, we all remember the single barrel shotgun that was leaked last week. 
Well, with the new lobby in game right now, you just have to look closely and you'll see this shotgun hidden in the background. This means we should see the shotgun soon, maybe even as soon as next week. For Assassin's Creed fans, you're probably excited about Ezio being in game, but this week, Eivor from Assassin's Creed Valhalla will join the set. And believe it or not, this collab isn't as shocking as what else is in store for us in Season 2. The next big crossover has been leaked, and it's Fortnite x Coachella. So not only do we know there will be a Coachella locker bundle coming out in April, but we might actually have our first look at the skins. In the leaked survey from last year, a lot of outfits were leaked. The Coachella bundle will include a Sonic Smile emoticon, and the smiley face is the exact same one that you can spot on this skin, which seems kind of like a little coincidence. And there will also be a female outfit in this set. We don't know exactly what she'll look like, but going off of the survey, this is our best guess. Coachella begins on April 15th and ends on the 24th, so we could see this locker bundle release in that time frame. And it turns out they're not the only amazing cosmetics releasing this month. We have some leaky emotes from playing chess with your friends to this encrypted dance that has no music right now. Some Keen Eye players have noticed that this is Copian's dance from TikTok. When you compare them side by side, well, there you have it. While well, these leaks are all exciting, today's update has even more incredible additions. You have to check out everything else you secretly missed. Something that people have been looking forward to has been this season's Super Styles. They were supposed to come out a few days ago, but the wait has officially come to an end. In the bonus rewards of the Battle Pass tab, you can head to page 3 and pick up the new Stealth Silver Styles. They look so cool, but yet it gets even more insane. Page 4 brings the Tempest Styles to the Battle Pass with that cool purple design for the skins. And then finally, page 5 is the Vivid Super Level, a bright gold selection of styles that are actually animated. Yeah, Doctor Strange's entire cape is animated gold. It looks so awesome. And there are also some new original item shop skins coming this week. Introducing Serena, a rare outfit that'll be in the shop soon. And with Easter coming up this month, the Dutch outfit has been updated with a new style, which means it'll be returning to the shop on Easter weekend. But someone else has returned to Fortnite and everyone is insanely happy to see him back. Over on the map, you can now find the Rock family restored to their former glory. They've been fully dug up after appearing on the island at the start of the season, and we expect them to continue their journey in the next few updates. And speaking of journeys, the battle between the Imagine Order and the Seven will continue past the Daily Bugle, and the territories around the island will change dramatically. These are the upcoming phases where you can see how we'll progressively push back the IO to Command Cavern. And the Anvil rocket launcher will help us in that fight, but it's not powerful enough just yet, so I'll be going buff the Anvil. Now the rocket will travel faster once you fire it, which will be helpful for when you need to hit someone off foot or if a tank is super far away. Now we've all been loving the zero build mode, and considering it's sticking around forever, it's no surprise that Epic are still making changes to it. With today's update, leakers found files that confirm Fortnite is working on a zero build arena mode, which will be huge for pro players that have returned to the game after all of these years. Who knows, maybe we'll see fully fledged tournaments without building in the future like the one we saw this week. Weekend. And for the icing on the cake of the new Fortnite update, Creator Mode has received the Anvil Rocket Launcher. Now creators can use the Blimps and the Fortress, bringing a ton of new props and designs to the game. And that is everything you missed in today's huge Fortnite update. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.